curious minds and brain benders to a journey through the strangest and most intriguing truths that history has to offer. Prepare to be astonished, for the world is a place of wonder and oddities beyond imagination. Did you know that throughout history, humanity has encountered mysteries that defy explanation? From the most feared way to meet one's demise to the peculiarities of everyday life, join me as we uncover the secrets that lie beneath the surface of our world. First, let's explore the most feared way to depart this mortal coil. Surprisingly, it's not what you might expect. Forget about spiders or heights. Statistically, the five most feared ways to die is buried alive. The fear of being buried alive, known as taphophobia, evokes a primal terror in many individuals. Imagining oneself trapped beneath tons of earth with no means of escape is a nightmare scenario that has haunted humanity for centuries. Historically, the fear of premature burial was so pervasive that safety coffins with bells or escape mechanisms were invented to prevent such the fate. Even today, the thought of waking up in a confined space underground strikes fear into the hearts of many. Drowning. Drowning is a terrifying prospect for most people as the sensation of suffocation and helplessness while submerged in water is deeply unsettling. Whether it's the fear of being pulled under by strong currents, trapped in an underwater structure, or simply unable to reach the surface in time, the idea of drowning is a primal fear that resonates with many individuals. The fear of drowning, known as aquaphobia, can be particularly intense for those who have experienced near drowning incidents or have a general discomfort with water. Burning to death, the fear of burning alive, known as pyrophobia, taps into our innate fear of fire and its destructive power. The thought of being engulfed in flames, feeling the searing heat scorching our skin, and inhaling toxic smoke is a nightmare scenario that few can contemplate without shuddering. Whether it's a house fire, a car accident, or an industrial mishap, the prospect of perishing in flames is one of the most terrifying ways to meet one's end. Being eaten alive. The fear of being eaten alive by animals known as zoophobia, or more specifically as cynophobia, fear of dogs, arachnophobia, fear of spiders, or herpetophobia, fear of reptiles, taps into our primal instinct for self-preservation. The idea of being torn apart and devoured by predatory creatures triggers a deep-seated terror in many individuals reflecting our vulnerability in the face of nature's fiercest predators. Odd accidents. While accidents are a common cause of death, it's the bizarre and unexpected nature of certain mishaps that can instill a sense of dread. From freak accidents involving falling objects, bizarre medical conditions, or unlikely scenarios such as being struck by lightning indoors, the unpredictability of life's dangers can leave us feeling vulnerable and apprehensive. The fear of odd accidents underscores the fragility of human existence and the precariousness of our mortality, reminding us to cherish each moment and be mindful of potential risks in our everyday lives. Now here is the true quirky part. According to statistics, more people fear dying from a coconut falling on their head than from shark attacks or plane crashes. That's truth. Enough about that. Now imagine a world where chocolate was not just a delicious treat, but a form of currency. For the ancient Aztecs, this was a reality. They valued cocoa beans so highly that they used them as money for trade and commerce. Cocoa beans were valued as much as gold. That's right, a bar of chocolate could buy you a rabbit, or a hundred cocoa beans could buy you a slave. Makes you wonder about the value of that chocolate bar in your pantry, doesn't it? But let's shed some light on another curious fact. Did you know that the human body actually glows in the dark? It's true. Through a phenomenon known as bioluminescence, our bodies emit a subtle light that is invisible to the naked eye. But the human body does literally glow in the dark. It's an extremely faint glow, 1,000 times weaker than the human eye can perceive. So no, you can't use your hand as a flashlight. Now here's a juicy piece of history. Back in the day, tomatoes were feared and shunned by many, believed to be poisonous. Little did they know these luscious fruits were harmless all along. Tomatoes were once considered deadly poison in Europe. This misconception lasted for over 200 years. It wasn't until the early 19th century that this luscious red fruit was embraced by Europeans. But speaking of liquids, imagine being caught in a flood of beer. Sounds like a dream, right? Well, for the residents of London in 1814, it was a nightmare come true. 
when a brewery tank ruptured, unleashing a tidal wave of beer onto the streets, chaos ensued. It's true a giant vat of beer in London burst, causing a wave of beer that killed eight people. A tragedy indeed, but an unusual one. And who could forget the enigmatic Cleopatra? While many believe her to be of Egyptian descent, historical evidence suggests she may have been Greek. A queen of mystery indeed. But enough about ancient history. Let's delve into the realm of the peculiar with a look at some of the quirkiest phobias known to humanity. People have real life phobias from fear of clowns to the dread of peanut butter sticking to the roof of your mouth. There's a phobia for everyone. Here are five of the most feared phobias. Erichibutyrophobia. Erichibutyrophobia is a specific phobia characterized by an irrational fear of peanut butter sticking to the roof of the mouth. Individuals with this phobia may experience anxiety, panic attacks, or avoidance behavior when confronted with the prospect of consuming peanut butter or similar sticky foods. The fear may stem from a past traumatic experience, such as choking or feeling suffocated by peanut butter, or it could develop without any apparent cause. Treatment for arachibutyrophobia typically involves cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT techniques, exposure therapy, and relaxation exercises to help individuals gradually confront and overcome their fear. Poganophobia. Poganophobia is an uncommon specific phobia characterized by an irrational fear or aversion to beards. People with poganophobia may experience anxiety, discomfort, or panic when in close proximity to individuals with facial hair, or even when viewing images or representations of beards. The fear may be rooted in personal experiences cultural influences or subconscious associations with masculinity or unkemptness. Treatment for poganophobia may involve therapy, desensitization techniques, and addressing underlying beliefs or traumas related to facial hair. Anatidophobia. Anatidophobia is a rare and often humorous specific phobia characterized by an irrational fear that somewhere, somehow, a duck is watching you. While it may seem whimsical, Individuals with anatidophobia genuinely experience anxiety or distress at the thought of being observed by a duck, whether real or imagined. This fear may stem from a variety of sources, including childhood experiences, cultural beliefs, or a heightened sense of paranoia. Treatment for anatidophobia typically involves cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, exposure therapy, and relaxation techniques to help individuals manage their irrational fears and reduce anxiety. Omphalophobia. Omphalophobia is an uncommon specific phobia characterized by an irrational fear or aversion to belly buttons. People with omphalophobia may experience anxiety, disgust, or avoidance behavior when confronted with their own or others' navels. The fear may be triggered by various factors, such as perceived uncleanliness, fear of injury to the belly button, or subconscious associations with birth in the umbilical cord. Treatment for omphalophobia may involve therapy, gradual exposure to belly button stimuli, and cognitive behavioral techniques to challenge and reframe negative beliefs. Hippopotamonstrosi squipedaliophobia. Hippopotamonstrosi squipedaliophobia is a specific phobia characterized by an irrational fear or anxiety about long words. Ironically, the term itself is one of the longest words in the English language. Individuals with this phobia may experience panic attacks, avoidance behavior, or significant distress when confronted with lengthy words or complex vocabulary. The fear may stem from difficulties with reading or pronunciation, social embarrassment, or a fear of being judged for linguistic shortcomings. Treatment for Hippopotamonstrosi squipedaliophobia may involve therapy, exposure techniques, and cognitive restructuring to address underlying fears and develop coping strategies. And finally, brace yourselves for the last truly eerie and shocking truth that will send shivers down your spine. The Toynbee Tiles. Since the 1980s, mysterious tiles engraved with cryptic messages about resurrecting the dead and colonizing Jupiter have been discovered embedded in asphalt streets in cities across the United States and South America. The origin and purpose of these tiles remain unknown, fueling speculation about their creator and their intended message. So, dear brain benders, as we conclude our journey through the bizarre and the quirky, remember, truth is often stranger than fiction. Until next time, stay curious. Go ahead and pick another video from above and let's keep brain bending together.